Hi folks, Dr. Victoria Skirbo here, speaking to you from the Caesar Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts, and uh, I'm here in my office. I'm going to do a couple more readings. I realized that when I did the reading on the, um, the ship going down and the rats um, coming off the ship, I forgot to look at Pompeo. Uh, so I'm going to look at him real quick, and then uh, I want to look into... Um, the, the Trump kids, and um, if I have time in this reading, I want to further look into the relationship between um, Giuliani and Trump. What is the sort of root basis of that? What, what's that all about? Because it's such an odd coupling. All right, so we're going to look at Pompeo. So I'm going to do five cards on him like I did five cards on on the others. Um, what I want to say about it is when I was watching him uh, speak, uh, I felt like he was trying to, as the words came out, he was trying to swallow them back in. It's like he didn't want to say it. He had to say it. He had to say something. I thought the man was going to pop. I really did. I think he had this look of abject terror on his face. And he may, uh, it may be that he has some moral compass, it's possible, or it may be that he sees his uh, career going down the tubes, which is more likely, but we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Why not? Why should I stop giving the benefit of the doubt to people now? Okay, so let's see Pompeo. And I'm going to pick five cards from the center of this, you know, from all over this deck. We'll use the same deck, the uh, wild, what is it? Sorry, what's the name of these cards? That's <laughs> so bad. The wild unknown. Ha! It's like we're living in the wild unknown, isn't it? Jesus. Okay, one more card for Mikey. All right. It's interesting how he he surrounds himself with Michaels, right? He had Michael Cohen. He's got Mike Pence. He's got Mike Pompeo. Okay, so we have the Mother of Cups. Mother of Cups. Okay. The Star. Okay. The Daughter of Wands. The Wands in this deck are. Um, Snakes. The Four of Pentacles. And the Tower. Okay. I feel like he's looking for some sort of solace from somebody. I would say a mother figure, a, a woman. Um, we can see that this uh, beautiful swan has her cup here. She's sort of protecting the cup. She's got her wing over the cup. Um, he has hope. He has some hope. The hope is, is, is rising in him. The Daughter of Wands is the uh, Page of Wands. And so this is more information coming out. This is information coming out. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. Now the Four of Pentacles is generally a powerful card. Um, it deals with power, but you see that these pentacles have all these strings attached to them. Um, and so there are too many, um, too many connections, too many uh, connections to power. The uh, When you when you seek power, you have to make a lot of concessions. You have to uh, a lot of strings need to be pulled and it's those exact strings that need to be pulled that when something goes wrong you can pull the string and it creates the collapse and we have the tower here so he is uh he's also done for so it looks like and i originally thought the other day when i did a reading on him that he might be the whistleblower but um I know what I'm going to ask next, um, but a looking at these cards, I'd say no, but he's done. 
Either way, he's done. All right. Um, I'm trying to think of the guy's name. I wanted to do a reading on the guy who just left the security position. He resigned, and then the other guy took over, and then the Ukraine thing happened. I can't think of his name, so I'm going to wait on that until I can think of his name. Uh, and let's do the Trump kids. All right. Now, in um, the reading on Trump, uh, Ivanka came up. So let's do her first. Let's see what's up with Ivanka. I'll do Ivanka. I'll do uh, Don Jr. I'll do Eric, and I'll do Kushner. Because for all intents and purposes, he's like he's like the other son. Thank goodness for uh, Tiffany and Barron are um, far enough away from this. Okay, so this is Ivanka. Oh, God, Ivanka. Okay. So one of the things about I've done Ivanka's cards often and um and I would usually do them with uh her brothers, you know, I do Ivanka, then I do Don Jr. and then I do Eric. And it always um Ivanka's cards were always the most difficult. And I always felt like she was the one who had the most smarts. She was the one who really saw things for what they were. Um she was the one who worried about stuff. So let's look at this. We have the um, we have the Seven of Cups, okay, illusion, delusion. We have the Eight of Cups. Uh, it was ill disposed. It was upside down. Um, I generally don't read cards upside down, so we'll read it right side up, and I'll tell you my impression of um, upside down. Um, so the Seven of Cups is illusion, delusion. Um, things aren't clear. Um, in this card, the moon is up top, the sun is at the bottom. So there's there's this sense of not seeing the whole picture, not seeing the whole picture. The Eight of Cups here, we have the cups um, that are all broken. They can no longer hold the dream. They can no longer hold, they have, they're no longer functioning. And so this generally means there's no point in continuing, uh, but it was upside down. So it's possible that she herself feels like there's no point in continuing, but her father is not convinced that's possible. And then we have the 10 of swords and this 10 of swords is particularly gruesome. Um, this is about endings. We can see the sword is right through the eyes of, this looks like a buffalo. Yeah, this looks like a buffalo. So it's like you're blinded. There's nowhere to go. You can't see. Okay. So um, so there's an ending here. There's a big ending. Um, and then we get the Son of Wands. The Son of Wands is the Knight of Wands. And so there's a, there's a sudden sort of inspiration. Something comes up. Um, this could be uh, somebody has an idea. Um so there may be a little bit of hope, uh, but ultimately we get the three of, of, of sorts. And so there's heartbreak and loss. And so, uh, yeah, this is, uh, and, and I think, you know, it's possible that the heartbreak and loss that she feels is the uh, heartbreak over her father. You know, say what you want. Um, they're a strange family. It's a weird relationship she has with her father. Um, but unless she harbors like some real disdain for him, uh, you know, watching somebody that you love, um, uh, suffer is, is, is heartbreaking. And so I can see that. Um, yeah. So she, I think she sees things for what they are. All right. Let's see Don Jr.
it's always interesting how he shows up in relation to uh, his sister. His sister always, there's always like a serious tone to her cards and a reality. And his are always like, la di da And this is, this is really similar. Uh, we have the two of wands here. Um, in this deck, it almost looks like um, uh, something to walk through, right? It looks like something to walk through. <sighs> like a portal walking to the other side of something. The Two of Wands is generally uh, commerce, looking, you know, looking um, it, out into the world to see where you can um, have your opportunities. He could also be on some sort of quest for his father to get money from uh, other parts of the world. Um, we have the Son of Cups, right? And this is this is the delusion. This can be, sorry, not always. The Son of Cups or the Knight of Cups can be the delusional one, the one who holds the grail, the one who's drank the Kool-Aid and is trying to, to spread the Kool-Aid to everyone. I, I really feel like he has completely embraced his father, hook, line, and sinker. And so, uh, whereas I feel Ivanka sort of steps back from it a little bit, I feel like he's always fully into it. And he's convinced that his father um, knows what he knows and is a genius. That's what, that's how it feels to me. I, I think, I think of all the children, he probably had the hardest time with his father. And on a certain level, um, my, my um, mother who raised me, she had a very um, authoritarian father. And uh, all she ever talks about is how special their relationship was and how wonderful it was and how much he loved her. And, and, and you know, everything was always like, she really like took the, the whole sort of mythos of her father and put him on this pedestal. And yet she's so afraid to be responsible for anything because if had she been responsible for anything that he didn't agree with, she probably would have got spanked that in this lifetime, she can't, I mean, in, the, in her life, in her later life, she can't take responsibility for anything. I'll walk through the door. I'll walk into her room and there'll be a pen on the ground and she'll say, you dropped my pen. But I wasn't in there when the pen dropped. But she can take responsibility that she dropped her own pen. That's how bad it is. And and I see that in Trump. And I actually see it in, in Don Jr. as well. I see that that wound. The wound continues. And uh, I, of all the children, he's probably the most wounded from his father. Um, and maybe uh, maybe uh, Trump was the most wounded from his father of all, his, of all the Trump kids. All right, so we have the Four of uh, Swords. Now, this is an interesting card because uh, we see that we have this little lamb here with the third eye, right, activated, the sun in the third eye, and then we have these three swords above it. What's to say these three swords won't come down uh, and, and kill this lamb? <laughs> so um, he's in a precarious place. He's in a precarious place. His belief... Um, on some level protects him, but we don't know how long that's going to, going to last because if his father goes down, you know, there's a choice that people make when, when their hero goes down, do they, uh, realize that the person was perhaps not what they thought they were, uh, or do they further go into the, the, um, the illusion of it? We have the Three of Pentacles next, and this is about, uh, uh, he had this card, uh, Trump had this card. This was one of the cards in his in his reading today, and this is about making the connection. So I think he may have put Don Jr. also on, um, on the, uh, on a job of, of accumulating money, figuring out where they can get money, how to hide the money, how to hide the money under the mountain. In this case, and then we have the hanged man, which is the hanged bat <laughs> in this deck. And so uh, he is in a he's in a state of limbo. He we don't know what's going to happen with Don Jr. His his fate is yet to be seen, but he is pretty hung up, and he doesn't really have a whole lot of power to change anything. Um, 
accept the way he reacts and responds uh, to life. So we'll see how that goes. All right, let's pick Eric. Let's pick on Eric. Uh, Okay, and this is Eric Trump. They have the Seven of Swords. Um, now, okay, let's just continue, and then I'll tell you what I think. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands. The Three of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. Okay, so, um, whereas I believe Don Jr. swallows his father's malarkey hole, um, Eric keeps one eye open. Um, he's not as gullible. I think um, his wife, um, is a big part of that. I think that she is pretty savvy, um, if not unscrupulous. Um, but I think she sort of keeps an eye out too. So it's, so he's, he's like, he seems like sleepy, but he's keeping his eyeball open. So he's not as in the dark as I think people think that he is. Um, we have, um, I also think that he's very connected or more connected to his mother. I think he's closer to his mother. Um, and I think she's a protective force. I feel like the women around Eric uh, are there to sort of support and help him um, because they feel like he is kind of a babe in the woods. And perhaps they saw what happened to, um, to Don Jr. And they're trying to mitigate that. All right, so uh, we have the six of, of wands, and uh, this we have this butterfly sort of coming up out of the, the tangle uh, of, of branches here, the tangle of branches. So, so this is, this is a, a sense of metamorphosis, of changing. Um, this situation on some level has changed him. Then we get the ten of of wands and this is a big tangle this is a big mess notice there's a lot of darkness in this card wands are fire and there's very little fire here and so there's there's an exhaustion here there's an overwhelm there's like one more thing really one more thing um that kind of energy we have the three of cups and so i think that he finds uh places where he can sort of let his hair down perhaps he's drinking i don't know um i know that trump is a is a virulent anti-alcoholic because of his brother um, dying of alcoholism. Probably he died of alcoholism because he was sensitive and his father couldn't beat it out of him. So he drank himself to death. Um, but like I said, I, I feel as though he has the protection of both his wife and his, and his mother here. Okay, mother, wife, and Eric. Okay, so he has some emotional support. And uh, we have the Eight of Swords. And so I think the Eight of Swords is he is uh, restricted in what he can do. And so he'll just change. There'll be a metamorphosis here. Um, but it's not time for, for him to come out. So it looks like of all the kids, believe it or not, Eric might be the one who survives the best out of this. Now, let's do um, Kushner. Jared Kushner, the quiet one. All right. I'm going to pull the cards. Of course, he's way connected with the Saudis and the Israelis. I think Netanyahu is his godfather or something. Or whatever the, I don't know, do Jewish people have godfathers? <laughs> I guess. Some court of sponsor, I don't know. Uncle, I don't know. Friend of the family. 
Okay, we have the chariot. <clears throat> He's on the move. <clears throat> Justice. He's He's on the lamb from justice. Sorry. The son of swords. The world. And the father of pentacles. Well, things are happening. Things will be happening quick for him. Justice will come down upon him. Um, because of his actions that he's taken um, that weren't thought out. Um, the world is an ending card. Okay. So we see the end for Jared. But then we have the father of pentacles. And so it might be the end of his career as a public servant, uh, but it's not the end of his, uh, probably his money-making career. And I think that's probably because um, his family, he still has his family. Um, the Trumps have their father, which is the family, but if Trump is out and that all gets wiped clean, um, they don't have anything. Uh, whereas the Kushners have... A, a cushion, <laughs> financial cushion, even if uh, Jared does get, um, you know, held to task for the stuff that's happening. It could also be that he's, he's escaping. He might actually escape the law. Maybe he goes and lives in, in Israel or Saudi Arabia or something like that. But he, uh, it's possible that he sort of gets out like that. But all the same, um, it's, I don't think it's too pleasant for any of them. Okay, so uh, let's stop there. And as soon as I remember that other guy's name, it's like out of my head. Oh, gosh, I'm taking memory stuff too. I don't know. You know, I think, I think it has to do, and, uh, and see, I don't know. I think it has to do with the energy. Is anybody else forgetting stuff, stuff that they should remember? Do you remember what day it is? <laughs> All right. That was the question you don't have to answer. <laughs> All right. Have yourself a great day. As soon as I, um, I'm going to look up who I'm thinking of and I'm going to do a reading on them. Okay. Have yourself a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.